January 23rd, 2016, and here's a request to test. There is some cigarette tobacco made in Denmark. It's this Peter Stokeby, however it's pronounced, number 93, Amsterdam Shag. And it's a little pouch. That is the culprit. And here is the first reading just on the tobacco itself. January 23rd, 2016. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, and 5,340 counts. Six max data point, average data point is 0.89. So I'll be doing the ash on this, and I could tell it's going to be way more than this. Still trying to find that uh, tobacco that's not radioactive. All right, it's in the 130 range, which is pretty high. This might be the highest of the tobaccos that I've tried so far. That's some pretty hot stuff over in here. I get this, it was up to 160. Yeah, 162. It's unbelievable. 174. Alright. January 23rd, 2016. And this is the Amsterdam Shag. Ash, 100 minutes, 6,001 seconds, 12,503 total counts, 10 max data point. Average data point is 2.08. And this, by far, is the most active of all the tobacco that I've tested so far. And I would say that's probably about like maybe three tablespoons. January 23rd, 2016, and this is the background for the Amsterdam Shag, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds. 2,732 counts, 4 max data point, average data point is 0.46. And there she stands. Alright, I wanted to do it. From now I'm going to try to do it in this micro sieve it's an hour. Which is kind of what uh, this more scientific measurement is. And I know most people probably can't even understand the CPMs. Let alone the micro sievers. But some people maybe want to see this micro sieve. And that's what it is. is 0.030 micro sieverts an hour so if you want to know about it look it up yourself I guess google it these videos get too long to begin with some people complain so we'll say bring this down so about there you go 1440 counts is about 40 micro sieverts and not 40.040 that's going to be about 41 counts 148 154 about 150 is about 8 there you go though
my conclusion on the Amsterdam shag is that unfortunately this is probably the most radioactive tobacco I found and I would imagine I've done at least 20 tests here or there so I still haven't found a tobacco that is not radioactive whether they're using diammonium phosphate or not so I guess we'll keep searching background Amsterdam shag background Amsterdam shag background Amsterdam shag background Amsterdam shag